What's up fellow stackers and silver degenerates? Today I'm doing a video about slapped coins, graded coins. I will also add some more highly anticipated graded coins, so make sure to watch it till the end. I will also tell you about different numismatic grading companies and I will try to cover all the grades, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, Silverado here. Thank you for checking out another video. Uh, if you are into collecting silver and gold or you just like watching videos about precious metals, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, you know, where I'm sharing my stocking journey with you. Okay, slabs, uh, grading, PF, XF, 65, 64, 45, MS70. But what does it all mean? There are many uh, things, many different things to be considered when you have a coin collection. Um, the most important uh, thing would be the, the grade of your coins, as this will affect the value of the collection. So even if you're not buying graded coins, uh, you, still want, you still want your coins to be in good shape, right? You don't want any worn slick coins, damaged ones. Uh, there are people in stacking collecting community that, that grade their coins, especially the coins that have uh, potential to be worth a lot of money in the future. Well, there are many uh, third party uh, coin grading companies, but uh, I will only cover two most popular ones. Also, the two mostly used by investors, collectors, and, and some of the stackers. So one of them is Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and the more recent one, set it up in 1987, uh, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. they both from USA, um, both from USA, with a lot of branches worldwide, uh, when you submit the coin for grading, it will be assessed for uh, authenticity. Grade number uh, will be at, will be given. It will be put in a, a special capsule slab type of slab, sort of slab, you know. I'm saying capsule, but it's really a slab. Um, it will be registered and certified. Of course, the whole process is much more complicated than this. Uh, it would include usually a minimum of two experts to perform grading on the coin. Uh, and that would include a series of different tests, observations under a certain type of magnification to find any type of imperfections on the object tested. Cost of grading uh, is anything between 16 up to 250 dollars uh, obviously it depends on the coin uh, value of the coin and the type of the service you required because you obviously could have a different type of uh, service um, they, please check out the ngc website or pcgs website for the type of services they provide but you can also have like uh, custom labels as well uh, so, for example, this is the standard brown label. Uh, this one is uh, is some sort of a custom American label with the you know Statue of Liberty here, uh, because the coin is struck West Point Mint. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, you've got a lot of different uh, custom labels. So, PCGS. Uh, I've got a coin from uh, graded by PCGS in here. They use uh, the clear holder, as you can see now. Uh, and the NGC use the holder with the white background. And personally, uh, to be honest, I prefer the look of the NGC holders better. But they both design uh, to protect your coin from, from outside, uh, you know, ingerention by dust and damage and stuff like that. So they both pretty good and they stackable. You can stack them. And I think you can actually stack this one as well. Yeah, so you can stack them like that if you would like to stack them 
and they're not going anywhere. Uh, both companies using a Sheldon grading scale based on 70 point system, which we are going to uh, cover in a, li a little bit more details in a minute. Um, what else I want to tell you is the you can verify the number on the website as well. So uh, you can download the app and just scan this barcode and the coin will come up. Uh, it will tell you the, uh, the, the, the auction price of it. Not always, but most of the times it will tell you the auction price. Uh, so if you, wanna, uh, if you wanna have a go and try to type in this number that I'm showing you now, starting from 281, for this 2017 uh, Perf Mint Australian Swan, you can you can do that. Uh, you can have a look that this coin is registered to to me. You, you obviously won't see any details, but um, what else? On the top of the the holder, you will find a small label that will tell you the name of the coin, mint mark, uh, date, grade number as well as the serial number, which we, we, which we covered. So, um, so let's go through the different kinds of uh, grading marks and, and, and designations. Let's start off the MS-70, which this eagle is, MS-70, you can see here. That is the top grade, that is the mint state. Uh, they are usually the perfect coins. They do not show any signs of wear. So literally nothing on them, no damage, no wear, straight in the, the, the grading after the, they've been, well, you, you could probably keep them uh, in the good condition and send them off for grading. But what usually happens um, when, the, when somebody buys a coin from the mint, they usually send them straight away for grading. Uh, because to be honest, uh, like this one, for example, this is MS69, but I have I have uh, studied this coin for, uh, under the magnification. I, cu I couldn't see anything on there. So MS17 and 69 are so close to each other. It's so difficult to recognize the difference between 69 and 70. Uh, this is why usually people sending the, your co the, the, their coins straight away because they don't want to add any wear or damage uh, or even a little tiny microscopic scuff uh, scuff mark or or microscopic scratch, uh, you know. So so MS seventy down to sixty, uh, that's the that's that's the top sort of grade mint state. They do not show uh, anywhere of signs. Then you got the from fifty eight to fifty. The next year down, it's AU about circul about uncirculated. Uh, then the next one down is uh, the XF. And this one is from 45 to 40. Uh, XF stands for extremely fine or extra fine. The next tier down, uh, you would have um, very fine, VF. And that's, that's from 35 to 20. Uh, next one down is fine from 15 to 12. And that's F. Uh, then another one down is very good, so VG from 10 to 8. The next tier down is just G on its own for good, stands for good, and that's a uh, number from 6 to 4. Uh, the next tier down is about good, so AG, and that's number 3. Uh, the second from the bottom is fair, FA. That's number two. And the last one is PO, stands for poor. And uh, that usually gets number one uh, while grading. And, and that's, that's coins that you can't really read any details from it. You have also PF designation for proof coins, where Mint has used high quality dyes to strap the coin, usually with the high glossy, shiny background and matte or frosted finish on the center uh, object or portrait. Uh, so that's that would be PF. Uh, you would have RP, reverse proof, uh, where coins, again, you, you would have a nice satin matte background finish or frosted, uh, one with highly polished center object of the coin. 
and there are some special designation marks for proof coins and special labels this is where this is where this comes in uh, it came to me from the USA uh, from the guy called TX coins so let's open this up and let's see what's inside uh, I can already tell you guys that these are very very nice coins inside so let's have a look let's see what he what he sent us very nicely packed TX coins So there is his, his sticker. Check him out, guys, on Instagram. He does uh, loads of auctions and, uh, well, mainly raffles. So, yeah, mainly raffles, TX coins. Super awesome guy. Oh, and there's another one. Very reflective, very nice. There's another one there. So here we have the first day of issue MS-70 American Silver Eagle 2016, uh, 30th anniversary of, of the Eagle. Uh, and to get those labels on your coins, you would have to pay extra um, to start with, but also you have to meet the certain criteria. For example, uh, you have to submit your coin within certain uh, cutoff time to get that first day uh, issue uh, label. I think it's usually around a month. So you've got to submit your coin for grading within the first month to get the the first day of issue. So this is MS-70 again. They all still uh, all wrapped up, so beautiful. See that 30th uh, anniversary label there as well. Uh, there are some proof coins that will be graded as uh, DCAM, Deep Cameo. Like this one, for example. This is the Proof 70 Ultra Ultra Cameo uh, because this is from NGC. Uh, NGC use uh, Ultra Cameo abbreviation and the PCGS, like this one, use uh, DCAM, which stands for Deep Cameo. So this is the, the PF70 Ultra Cameo coin. And this one is the from PCGS uh, Deep Cameo. It's the same thing, but just a different name. So the Deep Cameo or Ultra Cameo on coins is basically the very high contrast appearance between background and portrait. And the background will be almost black, almost like a black, shiny, uh, and very reflecting. And all the remaining parts of the of the coin would have a strong frosted, strong frosted finish. Uh, that's the kind of grading that will make your coin to stand out from other coins and will make the features to pop instantly. So they are absolutely amazing, these ones. Can have a look. So you can see this highly reflective background on here. This one is also Lettered Edge, 2016 with lettered edge, first day of issue, 30th uh, anniversary of the Eagle as well. And that's the, P 
PF 70 Ultra Cameo. So I can tell you guys that these three coins uh, I've actually won on the raffle and the uh, average dollar cost of these would be around 25 bucks each. So that worked out very, very well. Here we have, uh, again, 2016, uh, the coin from PCGS, Proof um, 70. So again, top grade, Cameo, Deep Cameo, and with letter edge as well, West Point Minthard, Minthard. So I think back in 2016, this is why you see 2019 date in here. I think the, in 2019, um, the Mint realized that they've got some stock uh, and sold coins uh, from 2016. Uh, and they've started selling them back in 2019. Uh, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the, you can see this one's got a special uh, gold label. I think you, you've got to pay extra for these as well if you're grading your coins. But yeah, this is a, that, that's why they called it West Point Mint Hoard because they there was only uh, several uh, hundred thousands of these coins unsold. Uh, so beautiful, beautiful uh, coin. Fantastic coins. And, uh, and that, that will be it, guys, I think, uh, for this video. This is my whole slab uh, coins collection at the moment. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not either a stacker or a collector, but I always, always wanted to have few coins in the slabs. So, like I said before, you can all stack them like this if you want. Or you can put them in a special uh, box and store them. So, I hope you like the, the video, guys. I hope you like the coins. Thanks for watching. Uh, please smash that like button. And I will see you in the next video. Much of love and stay safe, everyone.